everybody, Erica here, and it's time for Facebook Live. So while I wait for you guys to jump on, I'm gonna do a little, a few little technology things over here. If you're watching the replay, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I um, my goal is to do Facebook Live every Friday at two o'clock Central. Um, however. I have three kids, and a lot of times school things happen and get in the way, but this week we're good. Next week, Facebook Friday will be coming on Thursday. I want to remember to tell you guys that. Next Friday, my kids don't have school, and it's my daughter's birthday. Hi, ladies. It's good to see you. So next week, Facebook Friday, I thought about skipping it, but then I thought, you know what? That's the end of celebration, and we need to have one last hurrah. A Facebook Friday. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Christine, Denise, Darlene, Alessandra. Hi, everybody. So we're definitely going to have Facebook Friday next week. Just it's going to be Facebook Thursday. Same time, I believe, 2 o'clock. Um, I will put out more information on that as we get closer. All right. So looks like we've got some people on here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Darcy. All right. So this week's theme is babies which is kind of a weird theme for me because I don't always do baby stuff. I rarely do baby stuff, but I'll tell you about that in a, in a little while. While we wait for everybody to jump on, I thought I'd take a second and show you guys some swap cards. Do you want to see some swap cards? In case you don't know what swaps are, it's where you trade cards. I usually tape this down. It is going to drive me crazy the whole time today that it's not straight. It's where you make a bunch of cards and then you trade them with other people so that you end up with a whole bunch of different cards. And so ideally you would make maybe 10 or 20 of the same card and you would trade it out. So it's um, much easier to make 20 of the same card than to make 20 totally different cards. And so a swap is really fun because um, you get a wide variety of cards um, to do what, with whatever you want to do with them. So... I thought I would show you our team swaps. Now my team is called the Sweet Stampede and um, they are my downline. And we have an amazing swap coordinator, Anne Marie. Is she on here? Oh yep, I see Anne Marie. I'm talking about you. Look, you just popped up. Um, she is our swap coordinator and she's amazing. She's like super organized and amazing. So our swap, since Anne Marie has taken over being in charge of our swaps, taken over from me who was doing a horrible job at it she has gotten us so organized and our cards are amazing so I'm going to show you I was only part of two of the groups and I've actually pulled some of them out because I'm going to case them and I don't want you to see them yet um which is kind of selfish of me but sorry that's what swaps are for all right so let me show you and speaking of Anne Marie's card is the first one I don't know who made all of these cards but I do know a couple of them look at this fancy Anne Marie is known for her layers and her beautiful work she is I tell her she needs to apply for the artisan team she's very very good so this was hers our theme this month was flowers right Anne Marie flowers I suddenly had a blank here's one I think this is Terry's or was it birthday? No, that's what it was. It was birthdays. I can't remember. It was birthdays, I think. And then our creative challenge was flowers. I can't even remember what's happening. Birthdays. Yes, thank you. Birthdays. <laughs> I can't remember. My, I did flowers and birthdays on mine, so that's why I can't remember. Um, so this is Terry's. Really pretty, that butterfly. It's a great time to pull that butterfly out. And that's when I opened her card, I realized, oh, wait, it's not flowers. It's birthdays. Okay, and then here's Belinda's card. I don't know if Belinda's on here yet. She went Wink of Stella all the way around these. She did 10 of those. That was like amazing. I told her she's going to need to buy a new Wink of Stella now. Beautiful and all that work. That's a lot of work. Cute little birthday card. When people do the inside and they fancy up the inside, I'm always impressed because I rarely do that. This one is so cute because look, it looks like, okay, a normal card, but look how it opens. Boop. It's a half like a half of a front and the little sentiments hidden inside. So cute. What's this called? Message in a bottle. I think this set adorable. It's in the annual catalog. I need to use it soon. Um, here's a great birthday card. I love this paper. This is tutti frutti, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to miss that paper. She put a, a card insert inside. That's very nice. Here's one. Um, 
Antoinette, yes, Antoinette's card. This one kind of took my breath away when I pulled it out. She um, is giving Anne Marie a, a run for her money with all these layers. Look at that. It always amazes me how many layers and how much beautiful work goes into swap cards. Um, I have to tell you that when I do a swap card, I'm thinking, okay, let's see how simple I can make this card because <laughs> I'm going to have to make a bunch of them. So these ladies went all over and just went all out. And look, she even colored the inside. This card is gorgeous. Oh, look, the hot air balloon. I love that hot air balloon. I need to pull that out, too. Remember, it was in last year's occasion catalog. She did Wink Estella here, too, on these clouds. And um, it now it's in our annual catalog, and it is a fantastic set. Here's another beautiful birthday card. Lots of layers. Very nice. I can't remember the name of this set, but it is, I believe, in the occasions catalog. Very nice. Here's mine. You might have seen it on my blog this week. I tried to keep it simple, but that was a lot of coloring. But I think it's easily reproducible. This is actually, the sentiment is from Big on Birthdays, and I actually cut it with my scissors because the sentiment's like this big. So I cut it. You know, guys, don't be afraid to cut your stamps because when you put them back on the, on the block, it's like a puzzle piece. However you cut it, it'll just go right back together. So don't be afraid to cut your stamps. I know some people are like, ah, and this one was a little tricky because the words were really, really close. But it, 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 um... It did okay. Here's one. Oh, I love this man stuff. These man cards. This is, the paper is the truly tailored paper and that tag punch. But I believe that these are from the guy set in the annual catalog. Blanking on the name, but it's super cute. I'm getting ready to do a bunch of stuff with this. So in April, look, be looking for that. I have a whole class designed around that suite. This one's adorable precious just so sweet and I like how she like popped that up and did the um sentiment down into the circle very pretty and there's that retiring color you guys two retiring colors flamingo flirty flamingo peekaboo peach if you need these you better get them now and get your celebration items because I tell you in April yeah, those are quickly going to sell out because they do not they're not going to carry over into the catalog now look at this this is Tiffany. She is our master of brusho. I have told you guys, I have played with brusho several times, and we won't speak of, of things that came out of my mouth while I was doing it. It was not easy, and this is the thing I was the most excited about in the catalog, and I have yet to master it. So Tiffany blew us away. She's like the master of brusho. So very nice, Tiffany. It's beautiful. Now this one I almost didn't want to show you because I want to case it. Look at it. It's super cute. It's, a, it's called a Z fold and it she did watercolor she did wink of Stella this is Heather's card this branch from the petal passions bird banter I mean layer after layer after layer Heather if you're on here you've blown my mind that's so many layers now this one I don't know whose this is but it's got I love it it's got so much um, can you see oh yeah you can see shiny and that is I believe um, our, our uh, Phi Tip glue pen, and look at all of those dots. Or maybe it's embossed. She probably embossed that with a clear and then maybe did this with the, the, the Fine Tip glue pen. It's just glossy, so I bet that's what that is. Embossed with clear and then Fine Tip glue pen. Gorgeous. And there's that cute lemon lime twist glimmer paper sticking out. Beautiful. Okay, now this one is glorious, right? So here it is, but watch it turns into a little stand. Can you see it from the side? How cute! Gloria, this is so cute. Gloria, if you're watching, we need a tutorial. It's so cute. And Gloria actually did the embossing paste on all of hers. Again, you guys blow my mind. My team, I just, I'm so proud of you guys. You're like, wizards and look there's the cute little chef and I noticed how she left him white all white no need to color of course no you don't need to color I always feel like oh I gotta color it but no he looks great it looks like he's like a cartoon so very cute and I love that sentiment that is from that set that we got to pre-order last year but before the new catalog came out there's lots of samples out there with, with this all right last one this is Lisa's and I told Lisa um, on our on our team group page that I was blown away with her coloring gorgeous she actually embossed the cake and then colored it 
That's really pretty, Lisa. And then she did this. I mean, these, my girls, my team are just amazing. So anyways, I thought I would share that with you. That's one of the fun things we do as a team, um, these monthly swaps. And now that Amory's in charge, they're way, way better and totally worth all the work. Look at all these gorgeous cards I have. You know, if, you, if you're a, a business demonstrator, if you're trying to have classes or workshops, then doing swaps is a great way to get lots of samples to show your customers. And if you're a hobby demonstrator, which is just um, a lots of us who just want the discount and just buy stuff from ourselves, doing swaps is just a fun way to learn new techniques and to just get a bunch of different cards. You can gift them to your friends. You can, um, you know, sell them. You can uh, use them for display, copy them, use them for ideas. So swaps are really good. If you ever have a chance to participate in a swap, um, I recommend that you do it. Okay, so today, like I told you, we're doing babies is the theme. And before we get started, let me remind you, celebration comes to an end next weekend, the 31st which is Saturday. So if there is anything that you want from here, from here, or from here for free, you've got to put those orders in by Saturday night, midnight mountain time. Don't let celebration pass you by without getting those things because once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, you like the blog hop, Nicole? Thank you so much. That's our first time um, as a team doing a blog hop. So um, we're going to do it every month and hopefully it'll get bigger and bigger. And um, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. So if you've never joined my Facebook lives before, I always do three projects. And if you want to put in an order between now and Monday and you use this hostess code, I'll send you all three make and takes for free next week. And they come like this. I have them packed and ready like little class kits. Um, I do want to say that last week's Facebook Friday make and takes went out a little bit late. I ran out of ribbon and the silver gable boxes. So if you ordered last week, um, some of them went out on Wednesday morning as always. And then some went out today because I had to order some of that. So just FYI to those of you who um, put in your order last week. So if you want the make and takes, if you like these projects today, make sure you use that hostess code unless your order is $150 then don't use the hostess code because you get the Stampin' Rewards, free stuff, you know, AKA free stuff. Um, and I'll still see your order and know that you have earned those. Um, if your order is $50, you also get the March All-Star Tutorial Bundle, which is 68 pages of tutorials designed by myself and 11 other amazing ladies. It comes PDF and I send those out once a week. Once a week I go back and look at all my orders and I send out an email. Um, and I sent those out yesterday. Hi, Joy. Um, so if you... If I've missed you, which happens, you guys, I'm not perfect, just shoot me an email and let me know you didn't receive it and I'll send it to you. Um, I wanted to mention also about my team. They get all kinds of um, benefits during celebration when you buy the starter kit. Of course, you know, you get to add on two stamp sets of your choice, any price. Hello, let's get the most expensive ones. Um, <laughs> and then you get to be part of my team. And I, I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago. This is the benefit sheet this month that my team got. They got all these PDFs for free. And then if they wanted the class kits, they get them at a discount, like $10 or $12 um, is their price for the make and takes. Um, so just another reason to buy that starter kit before next Saturday. Don't forget, because that, that deal only comes around once a year. The starter kit's always the best deal, um, but during celebration, it's the really the best deal. Okay, so, mm, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I had to take a drink, I'm super thirsty today. Um, before we get started, I do have prizes. So last week's big prize was the apron bundle. Apron of Love, Apron Builder Framelits, and the Facebook Friday things I did a while ago. Um, and those are going to Robin Martin. Robin is local, well, local-ish in the area. So Robin, I have your mailing address. I'm gonna put these in the mail to you. She lives about, I don't know, Robin, was it an hour away? Sometimes she's on here. Um, but anyway, congratulations, Robin. I will get these out to you. That's a really good prize. I also picked four people um, who shared the video to get a little ribbon share. So Darcy, 
and Sandy, I think I have both of your addresses already, and Luann and Monica, I do, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have your email addresses, so ladies, email me your address, please, Erica, with a C, at pinkbuckaroo.com, and I will get these in the mail to you as soon as I hear from you. You guys, um, I have some prizes sitting on my desk from people who haven't emailed me, so please make sure that you email me so that I can send the prizes. Look, last week's these two ladies haven't emailed me. Cheryl and Patrice, email me your addresses. You were the winners last week for sharing. And I. these are good prizes. I want to send them to you. Um, this week's prizes, um, two stamp sets. Uh, little one. This is this is my favorite baby set. And it's funny that I didn't even use it for these, these um, projects. But anyways, the, this is just a really cute, it's a new set this year. Um, so this is one of the prizes. And then a... Hostess set also, Feathery Friends. And the way you entered these, oh, there's Sandy, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, the way that you can win these is to go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and enter your information on the widget. And then it picks two random people um, next week. So make sure you hop over there and enter to win. And then I've got three of these, which are actually on back order, to send to people who share the video. So please share it. Let me know you shared it. Um, and I will pick three winners for these. These are uh, epoxy, glitter and clear epoxy shapes. Okay, one last spiel, and then I've got to get to work or I'm not going to pick my kids up to, from school on time. I have one class to go left this month. It's the Petals and More Fancy Folds. It um, is four options. Option one includes the bundle and celebration pick of your choice. Option two does not include the bundle. They both include a bolt of ribbon that's in here somewhere. Includes a bolt of ribbon. Um, they all include, those. both of those include the, the five fancy full cards and envelopes. Option three is the PDF only. And option four is that option for my team. They get it um, for, I believe, $12 this month. Um, so if you're interested in that, the PDF that's on my blog right now, go get it. There's a link here for you, right here, okay? Um, that deadline is next Saturday also. So this is over at pinkbuckaroo.com. It's on today's post. The post goes live as soon as I go live, fingers crossed. Um, and it has the, a link for this. Download it, save it, print it, whatever you wanna do. That way you can add it maybe to your idea book or your idea folder, whatever you have. Um, and it has all the product information and the measurements, although the measurements are pretty simple this week. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. So, goodness. Um, this, this week's um, theme really was inspired by um, my housekeeper. Her name is Juanita. She is amazing. She helped, I mean, guys, she's amazing. She takes care of us. She's great. She comes every other week and she never complains about how dirty my house is. <laughs> and she cleans my office first so I can get to work and then she just cleans and she's so kind and loving. And she asked me, she said her son's wife was having twins and she was doing a baby shower and wanted to know if I could do um, some treat bags. And I don't really do custom work anymore just because I don't really have the time to do it. Um, but for her, of course, absolutely, I was said yes before she even finished asking me because that's how much I love her. Um, and so she told me that her her daughter-in-law's theme was teddy bears. And I thought, I've got it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what stamp I'm going to use. And um, I didn't even have baby bear at the time. So I had to quickly order baby bear and get him to work. And they're having twins, a boy and a girl. So I did uh, 25 blue and 25 pink. And that's how this came about. So I'm going to show you how to make these in just a little while. And um, that'll be our second project, actually. And, and I had made a couple of things for her to choose from, really, before I even knew Baby Bear was in the mix. Um, and this was one of them. Um, this is the I just call it the Valentine box. You know, the, it's in with the Valentine stuff in the occasions catalog. And so this was one of the things that I made for her. So for us today, I decided to turn it into a card. Um, we're doing two other 3Ds. So I thought, let's, let's do a card. And this set is called Moon Baby. Do you guys, do any of you have Moon Baby? 
I mean, that like brings tears to my eyes. Oh, they're so cute and sweet, these little babies. Oh, okay, now I have another dilemma, you guys. <laughs> ah, stamping up is so funny. Um, so you might have heard that the blends are unorderable. Dun, 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 I know. Okay, so of course, two of my projects today use blends. They went unorderable just two hours ago. Um, so I was preparing yesterday everything and I thought, well, do I change everything? I had already typed everything. And then I thought, you know what? I'm still going to use the blends because many of you have the blends. How many of you have the blends? Just show me like with your likes. How many of you have the blends? And then I thought, they're, they're coming back. It's not like they're gone forever. So we're going to use them because I want you guys to see how amazing they are. Um, the reason they're unorderable, see, yeah, lots of you already have them. The reason that they are unorderable right now is because we all love them so much. Stamping up, uh, if you know the history of the blends, we had a product years ago called Blendabilities that was pretty similar, but they had a design flaw and they were all drying out and it became this kind of this nightmare for stamping up and they pulled them all because they could not get um, the manufacturer to make them. Their standards for product acceptability are really high and that's why we love them. So anyway, they pulled them because the manufacturer couldn't get them. They said, we'll bring them back someday. So they brought them back this year and we all fell in love with them and so much so that they have sold out sold over what they thought they needed and so that's not terribly unusual except that they're having a manufacturing issue also so to avoid a tremendous um, back order situation they've just turned the number off until May probably late May so just so that you know that they're coming back they're not gone forever Okay, so what I've done during all my chit chat is I have stamped the baby in Memento Black. You have to use Memento if you're using blends. Now, if you don't have the blends, um, you can use, there. we have lots of options. I'm going to tell you while I'm coloring this, but let, first let me tell you, I stamped this cutie on a stitched oval, Whisper White, that I cut out with a stitched um, stitch shape framelits. And um, I'm gonna color his little onesie and the umbrella in with a Calypso Coral Blends. So if you don't have the blends, how can you recreate this project? Well, of course, we have had lots of coloring options for a while. We have, the first thing that comes to mind really are the watercolor pencils. Um, they are really fun. I did a whole series, uh, class, last winter on the watercolor pencils and there's tons of things you can do with those. So I think I would start there. And then that was the light Calypso and I got out of the line. We're gonna pretend like I didn't because I don't have my color lifter here. I'm gonna go over the right here just a little bit with a dark. Mm, I'm not sure I like that placement, but we'll just make it work. Now I'm gonna blend it in with a light. Um, Okay, so watercolor pencils. We also have one of my favorite things, the um, Aqua Painter. And the Aqua Painter just uses ink right off your, your ink pads. You can kind of squeeze your ink pad and get ink on the, the lid and then use the Aqua Painter um, as a paintbrush. And that's really fun. I really enjoy coloring with that. Um, then we have the blender pen, which is like a marker. Um, you use it like the aqua painter. You, um, you know, put the ink on your lid. Now I'm using ivory for his little face. Oh, and I need a little pink for his cheeks. Um, but the blender pen isn't as watery as the aqua painter. It is like a marker. And so if you've never done any real coloring, I would recommend that you start there because you have a lot, a lot of control. Um, and you just dip it into your little ink and you color. And then when you want to switch colors, you run it on your scratch paper until it's clear. So those are our options. 
for coloring in cute images like this if you don't have the blends yet, but you need to add the blends to your must have list. And just they're $9 for the two colors that come together. You can buy them individually, um, the dark and the light, but I recommend you get both together, $9. And you can just get, you know, maybe one or two every now and then, and eventually you'll have them. All right, so there's our cute baby, all colored in. His hair's a little funkier this time, but that's okay. Um, let's stamp. We're going to use the little stars. And I'm using lots of pastel colors today. When I was making up my, my PDF, I thought, wow, this is a lot of colors from the Suttles family, which I don't normally use a lot. But with our babies, pastels are usually the thing, right? All right, so some stars of so, so Saffron. Yes, Karen, thank you, I'm glad. I really had an internal debate about the, uh, the blends. I thought, ah, do I use them? Do I pretend like they don't exist? What do I do? But, you know, that's just the way it goes when you have a product that is super popular. You have to, um, you know, get them while they're in stock. I, I know I order a lot of things online that are out of stock, or it'll tell me, you know, sorry, come back when it's available. So it's just one of those things. All right, I stamped that in Calypso Coral. Now this ribbon is called, it's not open. Let me get it open. This is called sheer ribbon right one eighth yeah one eighth inch clips of coral sheer ribbon and when I cut my card base I cut it so that the fold is on the long edge instead of the top edge and I think maybe on my, the project sheet yeah it looks like that's that's probably the wrong measurement so when you cut your cardstock for a card like this all of our cards are just half a sheet of cardstock cut in half. And for this way, you're going to cut it on the short side, right? No, you're going to cut it on the long side at five and a half. So really, this card is five and a half by eight and a half. All right. All right, we're almost done. This would be a fun baby shower invitation. And then you could just type up the um, information and like glue it on the inside or you could just maybe it's a baby card for somebody you know that's having a baby and we're just going to put dimensionals and have it hanging over and then the last thing I added these are the stars and hearts wooden embellishments that I have been hoarding and it's time to stop hoarding so I'm just going to punch out these little stars right here and adhere them. I hope I have enough of these for all of you guys who order. I have several packages, so I think we'll be okay. One and two with little glue dots. And there we have it. He's so cute. Or she. It's neutral. It could be a boy or a girl. Orange and yellow. All right. There's card number one. Project number one. I hope you guys like it. That was really quick. And then remember, here's the alternate little um the box okay i'm not reading your comments oh, i'm reading 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 okay yes they'll come back and we'll be more prepared to use them after your videos yes i hope so crystal thank you those blends are going to be around for a long time they're amazing they really are fantastic all right let's see what do i want to do next okay i think we'll do baby bear next now baby bear like I told you, I didn't even own Baby Bear. It wasn't really in my my wheelhouse. wasn't I didn't really think I would have a need for it, but I did, and now I'm so glad I have it because he's so cute. So I also have to tell you that these bags that are that I have used are <laughs> craft gift bags that we used to carry in the catalog, and they went on the clearance rack. I think maybe in the fall. They were like a dollar a package. I can't remember. They were really cheap, and I ordered like as many as I could. So unfortunately, they are not there anymore. But alternative options are using the gift bag, um, our gift bag thinlet. It looks almost identical to this. Um, so you could do that. Or 
we do have these gorgeous gold striped um, treat bags like that. And that would just be fancy with that gold clip. All right, so those are your choices. Or maybe you have a, you know, a bag, um, some bags that you already have that you could use. All right, so this is the Stamparatus. How many of you ordered your Stamparatus this week? That window, that second window opened. Um, for those who pre-ordered, and you should have had it in your cart, your shopping cart. I saw lots of orders coming through, so congratulations to all of you who got your Stamparatus. If you did not, don't worry, it's going to be in the new catalog, okay? Now, our Stamparatus has two plates, which makes stamping easier with when you have layers because you can just leave it on those plates and you can keep stamping. Now, I told you guys last week a little tip is with your photopolymer um, sheets. Uh-oh, here come the dogs. They're coming to say hello. Um, <laughs> okay, go. There's a cat on the front porch. Um, we have new neighbors with a cat, and the cat likes to live on our front porch. <sighs> um, so anyway, take your tear and tape and put on the back of those clear sheets and put one here and one here. And that way when you open it up, it's stuck. It's not all like in a jumbled mess. So anyway, that's a tip for you. All right, we're gonna actually start, we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna start with the most detailed one. And I have very vanilla here, and I've put my paper up to the corner. So because photopolymer stamps are so sticky, sometimes it pulls the paper up. And that way I can put the paper um, back in the corner and know it's exactly in the right spot. I'm gonna put him in the middle. And then I'm going to close this plate. And we're going to stamp the, we're going to ink up the first layer with the soft suede, which is your darkest color. You want to start with your darkest color first. And do that. All right, now I'm going to flip that plate around and just use this other side. I'll clean it up and take care of it later. Or maybe I want to stamp a bunch like I did with my, those baby shower, um, baby shower favor bags. I did stamp a bunch and this is exactly how I did it. Now, the beauty of this is that you can take this and put it exactly where it needs to be. I line up that bottom line and then I look at his eyes and his ears, make sure everything's lined up and close that. Pick it up, make sure that paper goes back in the corner. And now we're gonna do, you wanna go from darkest to lightest. So now this is crumb cake. And be careful, I'm gonna cut them out so it doesn't matter, but these big ink pads do get ink on these clear plates. It cleans off, no problem, but if you're stamping on something that you're not gonna cut out, you wanna be careful and wipe that up. Um, otherwise, it's going to get on your paper. All right, let's see how that looks. I feel like I'm not getting right there in the center. I'm getting ink on my hands. All right, there we go. Now, I'm just gonna take this off because I don't wanna get ink on anything. And this time, we're gonna use the one that's more solid. Put him right there on the edge, line those lines up. Oh, am I out of the screen? I hope you guys can see. Line those bottom line edges up. Now, we, I said we're gonna go from the lightest to darkest, but in my opinion, there's not an ink that's much lighter than crumb cake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my crumb cake ink, and then I'm gonna grab, let's see, I'll do it on the back of this, just some scratch paper, and I'm gonna stamp it once. This is called stamping off, where you get one layer of ink off. Then I'm gonna stamp it so that it's a light, light version of crumb cake. And there he is. He's so cute. Now, this does require fussy cutting. I, I know that I have some fans out there of fussy cutting. And then I know I have some not fans of fussy cutting. So if you didn't want to fussy cut him, just take um, a circle framelit and cut him out, or an oval framelit. And I'm gonna go around and just kind of keep an edge on the outside of him. Um, one thing I noticed that I did, um, before I mention that, let me just say, use your sharpest, smallest scissors when you fussy cut. 
and stay on the outside edge. And that, and that will weigh your, the eye will only see the edge of the stamped image. And cut off your extra as you go, that makes it easier. One thing I noticed when I was putting this project on the trays this morning, getting it ready, is that I put Whisper White cardstock, and it's not Whisper White, it's actually very vanilla, because the DSP has very vanilla in it. And I think I may have cut out, yep, I did, a Whisper White, a Whisper White oval. So let's see, what does that look like? All right, we're going with it. If you're not a fan of mixing Whisper White and Very Vanilla, I apologize, but I think for this it'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna take him and put some dimensionals on him. By the way, how many of you got the paper pumpkin this month with your giant sheet of dimensionals? Okay, I only used about a fourth of the, of the dimensionals to put my paper pumpkin together, and I had all these left, and I have been using them. Mm, that's dirty on the bottom, let's turn it over. I have been using them like crazy this week, and I'm almost out. I don't know what it is about a giant sheet of dimensionals. They're amazing, we need giant sheets. Okay, now this is this gorgeous paper and it comes in two colors, the powder pink and then the, the blue. Is it pool party? P pool party and the, the bashful, nope, powder pink. Um, and so you, you can do boy or girl. And so this is, I believe, if I remember correctly, one and a half by six. And I'm gonna punch it with my banner triple punch. And then this one was one inch by five and a half. I think this time we will put it on this gold bag. Ooh, that is pretty. All right, oh, and it's gold on the back side. I forgot to mention that. So even if you didn't use it for baby stuff, it would be beautiful for, I don't know, I kind of like the gold now. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the gold side on this one um, for, anything, mixing your golds with your, um, you know, your projects. All right, some more dimensionals. I saw lots of likes. I see lots of you got your, your, um, your paper pumpkins. All right, now the last thing. Oh no, we need to do the sentiment, I forgot. The sentiment, and I threw my paper away. The sentiment I put together on a clear block, like you can see, it's thank you, it's by itself, and then very much, but I just went ahead and put them together so I can stamp them one time, one and done, and I'm gonna use powder pink right here at the edge. And nothing terribly fancy with the sentiment, I'm just gonna cut the cardstock to the width and the height of the word words with my little baby paper cutter here this is the one I keep by my side all the time it's a mess but I love it all right and now let's put right there thank you very much so um, Juanita was asking me also for some ideas of what she could put in these bags and I immediately thought of candy. I don't know. What do you guys, do you have any ideas for baby shower party favors besides candy? I, I was kind of at a loss. I couldn't think of anything. Um, I know I always think of Bath and Body Works, but when you have 50 of them, you probably don't want to go to Bath and Body Works. All right, our gold library clip. And I've changed the ribbon up too, because I realized these are two different pinks, which actually... I think it looks fine because I think they're close enough. But for this one, I pulled out the powder pink woven ribbon. If you really want to make sure that those pinks match, even though I have white and very vanilla together on this project, <laughs> it doesn't seem to worry me too much that they're off a little bit. You know, when you're giving a gift out, you have to make 50 of them. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Look, oh, I love that bow. That looks like a little girl bow, doesn't it? Oh, so cute. Hand sanitizer, Sandy, I was thinking that. Shower games in it with candy, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, a little notebook. Oh, flower seed packets. That's an excellent idea. They could plant them in, mem or not memory, but in honor of the baby. That's a cute idea, I'll have to tell her that. Oh, awesome suggestions, you guys. All right, so you like these, huh? Okay, so here's a little note. If you wanna make the blue, um, this is actually the sentiment 
matched. I used retired paper for her so that sentiment is actually in a different color. But um, for those of you that are going to put in an order and get the make and takes, you might get blue if I run out of pink paper. But the ribbon that you get, it would be the matching um, shimmer ribbon. How cute. So cute. You know, my friends are all past the baby age. I haven't been to a baby shower in years. Years and years. But I hope that they like them. That'll be fun for her to hand out the proud grandma. Okay, last project is so fun. This is, do you guys recognize it? This is the popcorn box. And now I don't have a crystal ball, so don't quote me, okay? But for something, for some reason in my gut, I feel like the popcorn box is going to retire this year and it's not going to carry over. I don't know why I feel like that, but something has been telling me to use it. So I've been using it a lot lately. So that's what we're using today. The popcorn box thinlets, they come, it looks like this. I've actually already cut it out, but it comes like this and you cut out two of them. And it has all these cute little things. Oh, here's the UPS guy, the other star of Facebook Friday. He's pulling in. I know, I time it every week. I need to tell him he needs to come in the mornings and not the afternoons because he disrupts us. But I can hear my dogs outside, so maybe they won't come in. Okay, let's make the tag first. Let's do that. This set is super cute and was super popular when the annual catalog came out. It's called A Little Wild, and they're designed to make tags. So you stamp them, and then you take the framelit, and it cuts it out like this. And then you fold it in half and you it's a gift tag so then you can tie it to a gift um we're only going to use the the little lion and not as a tag he's still cute even though he's not a tag and again we're going to use these blends remember they'll be back they're not gone forever all right so memento here he comes and he is bringing me a stamping up order i can't wait i can Get my, oh, there's Charlie. Go outside, Charlie. Go outside. I need to finish getting my Woodland Friends class. All right. Hold on. Go outside. Go outside. Let's see if they listen to me. All right, we're going to heat set this because when you use the daffodil the white blends, sometimes it smears. I hope they're not rousing y'all's dogs. You always tell me your dogs jump up. And my dogs, um... My dogs bark. Okay, go. Go. Go outside. Go. Go outside. Well, they're just looking at me. They're not very obedient. They are cute, though. All right, so of course we need Dactyl Delight and Pumpkin Pie. If you didn't hear me in the chaos, the reason I heat set that is because sometimes, well, a lot of the time, this um, Memento Black will smear with the daffodil ink. N not with any of the other colors, just with this really light daffodil. So I heat set it just to be certain that it does not um, smear. Go on, Charlie. He hasn't come to the door. He must have a lot of packages. Charlie is like his mortal enemy is here. And he, his mommy wants him to go outside. I really, they have a kennel that I could put them in, but they run from me and they know and they hide upstairs and so I can't catch them. They're very naughty. Goodness. Okay, one of them went outside. The other one's going to follow. Let's see. What did I use? I used the dark pumpkin pie. Come on, Mr. UPS man. Don't you know I'm trying to do Facebook Live? Charlie, go on. He's not going to get you. He's at the door, and so now he's going to go crazy. Oh, good. He didn't ring the doorbell. Hey! Goodness! Goodness! He's not going to hurt us. He's bringing us fun stuff. So, I don't know if you guys know, but my um, studio is at the very front of the house. Um, about a year and a half ago, I moved from upstairs at the very back of the house... To the front of the house um, we kind of moved some rooms around and I was hogging the giant big room upstairs and my youngest daughter was in the smallest room upstairs so it was only fair for her to kick me out and I moved down into what is an office space but it's right at the front door and I thought it would be better because then they wouldn't be upstairs my kids wouldn't be upstairs when I was 
you know, like late night crafting or whatever. Well, now I realize I'm here by the front door and I see everything that goes on in the neighborhood. You know, if I'm trying to make a video, you see what happens. They go crazy. So, I don't know. There's no good place. I don't know. Some of you have basements. We don't have basements here in Texas. Um, well, in South Texas, we don't. I don't know about other places in Texas. But a basement, I think, would be great. Then I could shut the door. I don't even have a real door. I just have sliding barn doors, so they won't keep the noise out. But it is what it is, right? And it wouldn't be Facebook Friday with Pink Buckaroo if the dogs didn't go crazy. Oh, you have a mini schnauzer too, Lori? What color? Mine are white, which just happened by circumstance. We got them at two separate times. One was a rescue. One was my mom's neighbor's dog that was, he had, he has a big scar on his head. Nobody would buy him from them. So she just gave him to my mom, who then gave him to us. Um, they are the best dogs, except for all the, you know, barking. <laughs> they don't shed. These two have never chewed on anything they're really really good dogs they're very lovable okay so what I'm doing I need to stop talking I only stamped half of him remember because this is so if you're gonna make a tag you would fold it like that but we're not making a tag we're taking our scissors and we're just gonna cut around him now I'm gonna have to smooth that out a little bit like that there we go Oh, you have two, Joy, two schnauzers? Yeah, I think we're pretty much locked in with schnauzers now. Um, we didn't know that we liked schnauzers. We just randomly ended up with them, and we do love them. They do require haircuts. I've never had a dog that had to be groomed so much as a schnauzer. All right, these DSP pieces are from the Tutti Frutti DSP stack which is one that I have used over and over and over again because it's so good. I'm gonna stamp, let's see, I need to figure out, I made these too long on purpose because that way I can cut them exactly where I want them. I'm gonna put him right here at the bottom of this. If the measurements are these, these little pieces are over on my blog, so make sure you get it. And then I'm gonna take this sentiment that says a great big welcome for a sweet little someone. I'm gonna stamp it right there. All right, now we need one more little thing for our tag. And it's this really cute little vine piece. And I'm gonna cut it out of old olive and you know what I thought it was trash and I put it in the trash can good thing it's right here all right old olive I forget sometimes how prepared I am and let's put it right there this is a good little added fun piece that adds a little whimsy to the tag when you have a long framelit you want to make it go um, long ways through because if you go like this it doesn't get as much pressure so do it long ways and it will cut much better look it's just gonna fall out I don't even need the I don't even need the dye brush which I thought I would with all those little pieces okay so let's put our popcorn box together and then we will put our tag on top so you cut two of these out and we want to burnish it has a tab on this side that we're gonna fold and fold. So you have two identical pieces. Let's make sure that I get that on the right fold line. And tear and tape would be my preference for this because it's skinny, but I don't have tear and tape. So I'm gonna use Fast Fuse on the inside here they are, they look like this together, and I put Fast Fuse right behind here. So I'm gonna match those edges up, the bottom and the top edge, and I'm gonna push that in. I'm gonna come over to the opposite side and add some more Fast Fuse. The reason um, I 
don't prefer the fast fuse with this one is because the width of this tab is fatter or skinnier than the fast fuse. But the tear and tape would be perfect. All right, now there's like a little magical way to fold this up so you don't have to use adhesive. And I think it's something like, I don't know, to me it just doesn't seem like it's gonna hold whatever I'm gonna put in there. So I have to put adhesive. If you watch Stamping Up's popcorn box video, you'll see, I think it's Shannon, she does this like magical little fold and like ta-da. And I'm thinking, oh my, I know my ta-da is not gonna hold that. <laughs> okay, there it is, so cute. This is a great framelit um, if you like to do 3D projects. Um, it's pretty easy to put together and it's not too terribly big. Let's see, I think that is a little bit too long. So, well, that's the way it's gonna be. Um, so if you want it, now's a great time to order it because like I said earlier, it is Celebration. $50 earns you a free product from any of those Celebration catalogs or PDFs. Um, and you get the, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for March. Um, and I don't know, my something my gut is telling me it's gonna retire. Now, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. I probably am. And then you, you'll be like, well, you told me it's going to retire. But I'm not telling you it's going to retire. I'm telling you something in me makes me feel like it's going to retire. All right, this ribbon's really cool. Look, it's really wrinkly. It's supposed to be that way. Peekaboo Peach Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon is the name. And it's super light. It's not real ribbon. It's seam binding, which I don't really know what that is, but something to do with sewing it's very light and it's great on projects that are mail that you're gonna mail because then you can use a regular stamp all right gold binder clip again and we got that on there and there we have it all right I made my banners a little bit too long somehow you can see this one's a little bit better and I love the way it looks with all the crinkly stuff coming out it makes it look wild this is our ready shreddy what do you guys think? You like it? All right, we're done for today. Let's review. Remember, I'm a former teacher, so I have to review our lesson. We made the cute popcorn boxes. We made the little card, alternate box that you could use. Oh, you guys are so good with all your hearts. And we made the gift bags. All right, you guys, don't forget to get in your orders by Monday night. By midnight, you have to use that hostess code if your order is less than $150, and I'll send you all three of these make and takes for free. Now, if you missed the beginning, Facebook Friday next week is going to be Facebook Thursday, 2 o'clock Thursday. Um, make sure I've got some special things planned for that, So because it'll be the last one during celebration, so make sure you join me on Thursday. Of course, you'll have the replay um, to watch, but um, if you want to catch me live... All right, you guys, go get your project sheets. Enter for those giveaways. Pinkbuckaroo.com. Here are the project sheets. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I always appreciate it. Have a great one. Bye.